To help my skin look fresh and glowy, I'm going to be using my Pixi Skin Treats Milky Serum before applying any face makeup. I'm then going to go in and use my Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. This foundation is very, very velvety and it's very delicate to the face and it looks very rich and luminous. It's also very super affordable and as you guys know, there is no price for beauty and there certainly is no price to be a princess. I'm then going to go under my eyes with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the lightest shade and I'm going to be using this as a highlight in the places that it's needed. And for the contour, I will be using my CoverGirl True Blend Contour Palette. These bronzers are very creamy so they're very easy to apply. And now I'm just going back with my foundation and cleaning up the contour. For my highlighter, I will be using my Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl. I'm so glad I discovered this because this is a dupe for many, many highlighters that are sold in Sephora. I am now contouring my nose with my same bronzer that I used as my contour on my cheek. Now I'm just going to go in and blend everything together with a damp beauty blender to help give everything a dewy finish. For my lips, I use the Exposed Lip Liner by Kylie Cosmetics and I use that to fill in all of my lips. I then go in with my MAC Lip Liner called Spice and I use that color to contour the outer edges of my lips since I already filled it in with lip liner. I know it's weird, but that's how I contour my lips. And then I go over top of all of that with my YSL lipstick in the shade 62N30. Not only does it smell amazing, but it is very sheer and it's shimmery and it is a beautiful shade of pink. It is just so lovely. And now I'm just going in and touching up my eyebrows with a NYX eyebrow pencil. For my eyeshadow, I am using Max Sweet Heat, and this color is very, very pretty. It looks like fairy dust. It is so, so, so pearly white and opalescent, and I just love this for a very princessy or delicate look. I'm then lightly going into my crease with a MAC blending brush using the bronzer I used earlier. This look is definitely not dramatic, so I purchased a brown instead of black eyeliner and I'm using my Maybelline Stiletto Liner to create a wing on the outer half of each of my eyes. And make sure that the wings are very slight and not dramatic. This look is very different from the typical wing I usually do. <laughs> and now I am using my Lash Blast Cover Girl Waterproof Mascara. Rather than using full strips of lashes on each eye, I cut off the ends of my favorite Vegas Nay lashes, which you can buy at Target, and I'm gluing the ends onto each of my eyes to help give a wispy effect. Now I'm going over my T-zone area with my Pixi Flawless Finishing Powder, and I'm going over on top of my cheekbones where I would usually bake my face to help set in the highlight 
This powder is very soft and angelic and I personally think this is a beautiful way to finish this look. And now I'm just going over my face with my Urban Decay Setting Spray. Now it's on to the hair. And for princess hair, I always think of just long locks, very softly brushed hair. So I'm just touching up random pieces of my hair with a curling iron and curling it outward. Very unselect pieces, just all over the place. And then of course I'm going to mist myself with a very shimmery body mist from Victoria's Secret that smells absolutely heavenly. Now of course it's on to the wardrobe and today I have a few picks that I'm picking out and I'm unsure of what I'm going to wear today, so I'm going to show you guys my options. All of the dresses that you are seeing are from Dezal.com, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but it is a lovely website with a ton of vintage and shabby chic options. There's a lot of tea dresses and princessy gowns on this website. All of these dresses will be linked down below.